In this video, we are going to talk about how to import and export data from R. In the last video, we saw the getWeather function that we created. However, uh, this function uh, retrieves data from the Kronos database, but it's not desirable that we keep like fetching a lot of data all the time from their servers again and again, data that we should already have. It's just going to, to overload their servers. So let's learn how to, to save this data in our own machine. First, let me put the variable table, the weather data that we learned in the last videos. So let's take a look, table, okay. So now we are going to learn the common write table. Let's write there is a dot in it. We are going to tell the variable that we want to save. In this case it's a data frame like we saw before. And the argument called file, we are going to pass the file name table.txt. This is the extension, extension of the file. For people that are not uh, familiar on how the naming of files uh, in Windows work, the the three letters after the dot in a file name define which type, uh, what is the type of the file. Uh, txt is text file and we are going to see after csv is comma separated uh, variable. So, okay. So it's done, it's written on our hard disk, but where it was written? Uh, the, in R there is this concept of working directory so everything that you do happens in this specific directory to discover which is your working director, directory you use the common get double d get working direction the directory and tells me that is my desktop um, okay so if I go to this folder there is the table there that we just created. I'm going to edit it. And here we can see that the data that was created. Um, okay, but uh, how do you change your working directory? Let's say you want to your own specific directory. There is the command set double D. So here I'm going to just show how I would set the the working directory, directory to the one that I am already working. You can see that they used a, a different uh, slash than Windows normally use. Windows normally use the, the that one, but when you when you're working with the R, you should use the the different slash. Uh, another, I personally prefer much more to work with comma separated files because it's it's a standard in a lot of data sets. So we can use the command write CSV to to save a, a, a variable in a file in this format. And another advantage of this form is that uh, Excel can easily read these files. The extension for the comma separate file, file is CSV. So let's look at our folder now. There's the table. You can see here all the data and you can see here all the data in Excel. So okay, we learned how to write this in our hard drive, but now we need to know how to retrieve this data back to R next time that we open R again. So for this purpose, we are going to use the comment read CSV. And so how are we going to do it? We, we start with the, the variable that we want to, the values to be stored. Table is equal to read CSV, and then just the file name. There it is our data. 
Um, so these files can, uh, if you have a uh, data in your Excel in Excel files and you want to retrieve them in R, you can save them as CSV and then just import in R like that. Uh, uh, be careful, bit because th first try to save the the file in CSV and try to look uh, it, open it in Excel and see if it's correct because sometimes there is some problems with merged cells and if all the fancy stuff of Excel is not described in a CSV file so it's pure data and you can you can always take a look in the help about the write and read comment because there is a lot of other options on how to save files for instance to omit uh, column and row names to use different separators to ignore part of the files like let's say you always receive a file with a header and you want to ignore this header and uh, just to show it how it works if you wanted to to read if you wanted to read a file with a different separator you would uh, use the set uh, argument for instance you wanted to read one that is separated with dollar symbols So now that we learned how to to import and export uh, data from R, the next step is we will learn how to deal with characters in the next video. So see you there.